Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. Today we shall solve a problem from chapter number 9, Symmetry. Figure it out, page number 228 and that's question number 9. Draw the following. A triangle with exactly one line of symmetry. A triangle with exactly three lines of symmetry. A triangle with no line of symmetry. And the last part is, is it possible to draw a triangle with exactly two lines of symmetry. Okay, so let's get started. First, we will draw a triangle with exactly one line of symmetry. So for that, I'll take a ruler and I will draw an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides. So let's say my triangle is like this and then This extra part I'm just going to erase off. You just need to show that these two sides are equal. And the line of symmetry would be like this. You can show using a dotted line. So this is your line of symmetry. Okay. And this is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. Okay, next we have to draw a triangle with exactly three lines of symmetry. So for three lines of symmetry, you need to draw an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle has three equal sides. So we can use a ruler to draw an equilateral triangle or if you are allowed, your teacher allows you, you can use a shape stencil. This is a shape stencil and if you see here, it's written here. E Q triangle that means equilateral triangle so I'll just place it like this here and I'll just trace it so now all three sides are equal and this is an equilateral triangle now we will show the lines of symmetry so the first one is here from this vertex to the opposite side. Next we would have like this. You have to check the midpoint of this. Okay. You can check the midpoint of this and this line from this point should pass through the midpoint. Like here if I see it is 4 centimeters. So the midpoint of that would be 2. So I just need to make the line of symmetry pass through the midpoint. Here also, if you take the measurement, it would be 4. So this is C, 2 here. You can see 2 here. And now this side is left. So here also it's 4. So we'll take the midpoint, which is 2, and we will draw the line. So these are the three lines of symmetry and this is for an equilateral triangle. The next one is a triangle with no line of symmetry. There should not be any line of symmetry. So that's a scalene triangle. All three sides are of different length. So here we can use this right angle triangle, this one, to draw the uh, scalene triangle. So I'll just place it like this. If I'm drawing it using a ruler, still it is easy to draw the scaling triangle. Just you can draw like this, okay? And then any other measurement here and then like this. So both of these are scaling triangles. All the three sides should be of different length, okay? So both of these are scaling triangles. So I write here scaling triangle. This one is little difficult to draw with the ruler, but with measurement you can do it, okay? Now, so these are the three triangles, isosceles with one line of symmetry, equilateral with three lines of symmetry, and scalene with no line of symmetry. The next part is, 
Is it possible to draw a triangle with exactly two lines of symmetry? The answer is no. It is not possible to draw a triangle with exactly two lines of symmetry. We cannot have a triangle with two lines of symmetry. Either we can have one line of symmetry or we can have three lines of symmetry. We cannot have a triangle with two lines of symmetry. I hope this concept is clear to you. Thank you.